Hello guys, this is Engineer Vakas Ahmed and I welcome you all people on this platform. Today we are going to have a look on what are following project schedules. We are going to talk about recovery project schedule and revised project schedule. So before getting into the details, I would request uh, you should have uh, concepts of primary P6 project planning control and well-practiced projects so that you can understand today's agenda that uh, what we are going to understand the, in uh, construction industry, the most important issues we can solve by using today's techniques and concepts. So what is the difference between recovery plan and revised plan? I'll just give you a glimpse about that. And after that, we will get into the details. Therefore, the main difference between the revised plan are scheduled and the recovery plan are scheduled is that the revised plan are scheduled changes the original completion date while the recovery plan or recovery schedule does not change the project completion date. That is the major difference. If someone asks you in job interview of planning engineer, what is the difference? So you have to keep this thing in your mind that this is all about changing project completion date. Recovery means you have to do that project within already assigned project completion date. You are going to recover and revise. Revise can revise the completion date so it can change the completion date. So that's, I think, best trick to memorize for a long time if you are sitting in pressurized environment of job interview so that trick can help you a lot so let's have these things in more details project recovery schedule when execution and plan work difference are slippage is so much that the project completion date is no longer realizable the client may request and the contractor may submit a revision of the schedule with a new realistic completion date how i will just share with you the white board to explain my this uh, point. So here I will just draw a few activities in the shape of activity network diagram. And here I have, so this is actually project schedule, which is going to complete. And here you can assume a one duration line. Okay, so if uh, this is your project baseline. Okay, now your all the time has been consumed, but in realistic way, your only these two activities has been done. Okay, you got it? Only these two activities. I will just highlight this activity done, this activity done, and time you are standing over here. Now you have to cover all this work in this time. You got my point? In this timeline, you have to cover this work. So in some cases, you can use some techniques, but more of it, you can find it uh, unjustified to do all this work in this time. So it is not um, doable. It's not possible in easy way. Sometime if you will enhance your resources to do all this work in this timeline, uh, you can have more risk, more uh, penalty and all those things. So this is not achievable. So this would go in the court of revised plan, project completion date will be changed. Maybe you will add up some more time and then in this timeline, you can achieve this all work with your strategy or best planning strategies, okay? So that is the revised plan. I think you understand with better idea. And this is the revised schedule. It becomes the newer revised baseline schedule upon approval by the client. When it, once it will be done, it will be saved as a new baseline. And then we will go into the details of revised schedule. So if the slippage is such that the project team still believes that there's a realistic chance of completing the project on time by taking additional measures, then the contractor may be requested to submit a recovery schedule. In both cases, one thing is very common that client will uh, be given a plan, a recovery, if the, either it is recovery or revised by the contractor side. So uh, here we will go again on the whiteboard. In this scenario, recovery plan, maybe uh, you have done all these things and just give me a moment. So, and now you have timeline like this way. This time, in this timeline, okay, not this one. So in this timeline, you have to do the work. So it is achievable, you know, you can have, um, little bit uh, rearranging of your activities, more applying 
of resources on your activities using fast tracking are crashing, you can achieve this target. So it would go in the court of recovery plan area. So here, the recovery schedule outlines the strategies and measures that the project team intends to take the to bring the project back on track. These guys who are going to prepare recovery plan should have all the, uh, you know, controlling, uh, steering, and they have to take your uh, their project on track in the same mode they were supposed to take in the initial stage. Such measures may include fast tracking, performing activities in parallel instead of in, in series as earlier planned. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, there are two techniques, fast tracking, crashing, in our complete course, uh, Planning Control Primera P6 Planning Engineer course, we have covered all these two techniques, what is fast tracking and crashing, but I'll go into a glimpse of these techniques, what they are actually. So in baseline, it's not like um, your project is only in one line. There are projects which are having different paths, and one of the uh, shortest path, path is critical paths. So we will take that example too to understand so here you have your baseline like this way and this is your one activities network then there is there are few activities like this way okay and uh, like this way and there is your major goal and now these activities are linked like this and after this these two activities are going to start and after this 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 and this one okay so what is fast tracking if you are going into the recovery plan strategy, what you need to do, you have to understand first thing, the logic. If these two activities can be possible to perform at the parallel time, let's say this is one activity and now this one. If you will make, you know what? If you will make parallel execution, like if it is possible like this way, so this time, you can save everything will be pushed over here how i will just show you like this way like this way this this and you can see you can save time i'm not going to rearrange all these sorry for that but just understand these activities are also linked as they were before so this time you have saved so this is fast tracking okay um, and what is crashing? In crashing, you will reduce your time uh, required to complete a certain activity. Let's say this activity is going to complete in 10 days with the help of five helpers, okay? You are applying five helpers on this activity, five machines, whatever. So if you will enhance, if you will uh, like five, now if you will make more helpers like 10, so this work will be done in like this way. It's a very simple thing. If a work having, if a work you can say can be completed in four hours and uh, you apply two people and they are going to make it done in four, two hours. Why? Because two people are working. One man can complete in four hours. Okay. Four people can do it in one hour. Okay. So this is crashing actually applying more resources and getting reduced uh, duration for your certain task. So again, on this slide, so how will you decide project recovery or revise? So KPI dashboard, that is the most important thing. Again, I will repeat this thing that earned value management, that is also part of my project planning primary P6 course in which I have detailed section that how to prepare your KPI dashboard. This KPI dashboard will give you the figures, the numbers, uh, on realistic basis to decide what strategy should be for your project in meeting your targets, in identifying the delays, in identifying the poor productivity, what was the cause, what was the root cause for that project delay and what you need to do. So let's start it. So this is actually SCO display and this is your one of my project um, slide in which you can see that is the planned value for your project, which was supposed to complete in August and 100%. And now if I, we talk about cutoff data, the and data is up to October, okay? So uh, the plan was uh, about 55% to achieve in the month of October, okay? But the realist uh, on-site 
value progress of project was 44%. So it can go in the section of recovery plan because it is achievable Why there is KPA dashboard. This was your plan, this was your achieved, and this is SPI. You are lagging by productivity by 28%. SPI means, I have explained this thing in my earned value management system that uh, there is a range. If it is above 60 or 0 0.60, then it is achievable. You can apply a recovery plan, you can apply fast tracking, you can apply crashing, and you can go for that to decide that your project is on what conditions are on what status, what strategy you should pick up. So in this scenario, if the lag is up to 0 0.60 of SPI value schedule performance index, so you should go for recovery plan. In other scenario, you can see this is another my project, which is supposed to complete in this month. And now if cutoff data is like this, so this value, if I round off all these my complex values, it should be 20. Achieve plant should uh, is 85. So it's going to be 65% your lag. Okay, your lag is 65%. If I talk about uh, this one like uh, SPI, SPI formula is planned and value divided by planned value and like this way. If somebody can calculate it, so you can find out the value. It, it can be like, uh, just give me a moment. It is like 0.23 and it's very low because you are uh, taking productivity for your resources. Uh, so you are taking productivity for your resources only 23% and uh, rest of 77% is going into the waste. So there is a much, much need for your, because you can't achieve now like this way. Now you have to achieve this much in this timeline. It's not achievable actually, but somehow you have to investigate now the delay events, your things, all those things you have to go into the details to investigate, but for the reasons. So that is the deciding factor for you guys to help you guys that what 